3.05 a.m. We got all the gear. We got the rods, live scope, camera gear, check. Bag full of baits, check. We are good to go. What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So today is a little bit different of an episode. I normally spend a lot of time on the Quartas, the Muskokas in Georgian Bay, Lake Simcoe. Basically a lot of places within 45 minutes or an hour of Penetanguishing. Today's a little different. We are going to be heading to Lake Ontario. I am heading over to Mitch's place. I'm meeting up with him jumping in the vehicle with him we're heading down to st catharines and we're going to be fishing the south shore we're going to be going for some lake trout and some salmon possibly some browns maybe even some steelhead niagara river the bar out in front of welling canal we're just going to go down there see what water temps we have what water clarity we have and put a plan together to put some fish in the boat so stay tuned should be a good day let's do it Woo! so i noticed on my drive this morning that i don't know if you guys can see it out here but the moon is looks really close it looks really bright it's not a full moon but i would say a, at least a half moon and it's really bright out right now which is not a good thing okay when you're going fishing especially early in the morning. If you've got a full moon, a three quarter moon, it's really been bright that night. You don't want that because what happens is most of your predator, predatory fish will feed all night. If you're going fishing during the day and it's gonna be a full moon that night, 100% fish into the evening, fish into the dark. Um, those are the nights where those fish are gonna capitalize on those lower light um, scenarios, but it's still bright enough for them to feed into the night. So definitely take advantage of that. When we get into stuff like moon phases, majors, minors, for the, I have records back to 2011. I document every time I go fishing, the baits, the times, the weather, everything. I have never in 12 going on 13 years found the bite consistently even remotely consistently lined up with the majors and minors there's been days where there's nothing and i've had an amazing bite i've had an, a major and the bites turned off so i honestly i don't believe in the majors and minors and that kind of stuff maybe more for ocean i'm not sure but for uh lakes even great lakes i do not believe in um they have much of an effect on fishing at all. But however, I do very much so believe about having a bright moon and it's more about the light for uh, fish feeding. So keep that in mind for you guys. If you're driving like myself and you're showing up early in the morning, you see one big bright moon out. I hate to say, you're probably not in for a great day fishing. If uh, you're going out that morning, it's real dark. Those are the nights you are going to get a bit. So, just a little tidbit I thought I'd throw in there while I drive. <laughs> uh, it is 3.30, we've got another 30, 40 minutes and we'll be there. All right, see you guys soon. We arrived at Mitch's. Loading everything from this truck into his. Yeah. Six, six. You actually got that pack pretty good on your. Uh, what was that? What do, you, what do you mean? Like you got, you got a pack with a small bag. What? For like your batteries and shit. For the GoPro yeah, and stuff? Everything. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like in my backpack, and that's got all my clothing and everything in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I packed as light as I could. Working or what? Yeah, it's like they told me to remove my card right away. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what do you call it? I brought the uh, live scope. The only problem is. I've got my track mount set up for my pole 
but Mitch doesn't have any tracks on his boat, so he's MacGyvering up a base for the Crestliner. So we're going to attempt to put this thing on here. Kevin has it. What's that? that <laughs> What's that? Kevin has a mock that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice and tight. All right, so we got the live scope set up. This is the Arc Labs mount and pole. And basically what we're doing now is just kind of looking around back and forth. We're in 37 feet of water. If I look backwards, I can see there's Mitch's cannonball. Let's see the uh, temp probe and clip. And then if I look over to the left a little bit more, I should see mine. So there's mine. And if I look over here, I can see my spoon <clears throat> moving there. So we're, what we're doing is basically trying to find out where these fish are sitting, if we see any bait schools, <clears throat> if they're on the bottom, if they're high, and uh, also look at the reaction of these fish. We did see one come up and look at one of the cannonballs. It was swimming for a bit with Mitch's, and then it dove down, probably a laker. Uh, but that's the only one we've seen so far. So we'll try this depth and maybe move out a little bit deeper shortly, but we'll keep looking until we see the fish and then try to target on them. Just saw one. Could be a salmon, he moved quick. Frack, where the hell did it go? Look at where I am, dude. Right where that 10 is. Yeah. Like I'm right at the perfect depth for that guy. Oh. So we got one. When we started marking those smaller fish up high, around 10 feet under the surface, I brought that rigger up. Didn't take that long, actually, to hit this guy, but. We've seen him jump on the That's not a hook. That's no Larry. All right, let's go, we're on the board. All right, so we were marking a bunch of fish right on bottom, so this left rigger, we've ran closer to the bottom now, and we put a big gang troll on it. So we're hoping, let's try to get a laker. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so this is a, what time is it? 10 o'clock update. Uh, just the one coho. Other than that, we haven't hit anything. Uh, the sad part is though, with like 20, 30 boats around, we haven't seen anyone catch anything. That doesn't mean they're not, but it is definitely a tough bite. We've seen some fish down deep, not many. Most of the fish are in the top 20 feet of the water column and they're just coming down. I can watch them on the live scope. They're coming down swimming with the cannonball. Like it's the most bizarre thing. Like swimming with it for a while. Uh, they followed actually Mitch's um, Twinkie rig for a while. Like it looked like it was gonna strike it, but it didn't. It was following my Dipsy, but it wasn't following the lure. It was actually following the Dipsy itself. So we're gonna try dialing in shallow again. We've gone out to what, 250? Yeah. Not really marking. So we're just gonna keep trying stuff and see if we can get a pattern together. So hopefully in the next half hour, we can figure something out. No? Oh, I just popped. Let me just throw it off. Oh, the line's all loose right now. Yeah, just, I just Are you, off. you fell to go tick off. No. Oh my god. How long have you been taking that? Yeah, he's one of the good ones. You yeah. got your GoPro going? Yeah. Look at your Laker, this little pop plug. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Got it. That's a good Laker. Not bad. Not bad. Got a big tail on him. Ready? Yep. You fogger. Yep. No. <laughs> Jesus. Look at him puking out things. I was, what the? Hell, my net's all fucked up. Huh? My net's all fucked up. You want me net? I can. Oh, there we go. Now you're okay. Yeah. yeah, my net right. got caught. Sorry, he won't come off. He's not on these hooks. Ready? Yep. There we go. I was gonna say, what is going on with this net? 
It got all tangled up. Oh, fish. Fish, was that? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Now we're on him. Oh, I might, have, might have came off. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? It broke the fucking hook off somehow. Beauty. All right. Let's let this beast go. Oh, he's right on me. Look at him. He's right here. Come on, baby. I'll oh, see if I can get this on video. Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Oh no, he dipped. He dipped. Where did he go? He's following. He's following. Oh, take it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Let's take it up. You can see him down there. Where is he? There he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Watch this rod. Let's see. Come on. Hit it. Right there. Oh no, he went back. He went back. What? <laughs> Mitch is hooked up. Might not be a lake. Might be king? Hard to say. Could be a big laker, dude. I had a feeling about this thing. Mark that spot. Yeah. Whenever it hit right when you slowed down. Yeah, maybe. That tells me something, eh? What? You could be running more cranks. Oh might be the tell you might be starting to run cranks. I know, that's what I'm like, I forgot to try something Yeah. This is a tiny little bit. Bad, eh? That's beautiful. Yeah. Nope. Right. That's better than nothing. Frick yeah. Frick yeah. Is he ever fat? There it is, it's 12 feet down, I can see it swimming. It's gonna be at almost coming to the surface 30 feet out. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Keep puking up everything. Yes, I think he's nice and clean. Yeah, he's clean. Okay, let's see what that is sweet. I 
I love the fight on this rod though. I don't know. Like this fight. Like, he's such a sick fight. You gotta be getting close. Got it. I think this is a good, good little laser. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, another one. Which one? This guy. I'm gonna clip him on here. Which one is that? It's one? the the natural. <laughs> Oh, we finally figured it out, buddy. Yeah, no, I know. It took us all day, but we finally dialed it in. And here we were thinking it's the last thing we were going to run today. Oh, dude, look at this one. This one's bigger than the last one we had. Hot yours? Yeah. Uh, Where's the net? I get this in, I can try it. Nah, this is a Laker that I have too. The natural, that's a good one. Do you want the big net? Oh shit. Uh oh. oh no! Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, we should grab the big net. I know. Dang it. Oh well. That was a good one. I know, that's one of the better ones today. Dang. Here, I'm gonna clip this thing back on and reel this. No. Nope. Better than no. He's better than no king. <laughs> if he. Okay. No. Let's get us buckets. <laughs> There we go. You hold her up. That is sick. How's that one? Yeah, that's sick. Well, we're finally getting a pattern together, buddy. All right, guys, I'm back home now. Um, it was a really tough day today. We got a coho. Uh, we had a couple rigger bites that we missed. Uh, Mitch landed a king. I landed a Laker, I lost a Laker. Mitch landed two Lakers, we missed a couple other fish, but we marked so many fish today, we just couldn't capitalize on those bites. Um, we probably saw 30 boats out. We only saw one boat use a net at one time. So we only saw one fish get caught from all the boats out there. Uh, we talked to a few guys on the shore. They got skunked except for one guy. One guy uh, said he got two kings and he said he got them on a black spoon. So just using it as a contrast. Um, so yeah, if you're heading out and you're gonna try this, do what we do, try different depths. We tried everything from 16 feet to 254 feet. Tried spoons, we tried meat, we tried flash or fly, Twinkie rigs. Um, gang trolls, we tried it all. We thought we had a pattern dialed in. We started running all cranks. That's when we hit the king. That's when we hit the laker. We're like, yeah, we're onto something. We didn't get a bite after that, guys. We just trolled and trolled and trolled and there was nothing. So we're like, let's pack her in. So not the best day. You know what? Uh, I guess we don't always hammer them. I think we got seven eight fish today something like that total so uh it was still fun there were some great fish especially that one laker i wish i would have got a picture of it it was such a nice laker but uh that's fishing so hopefully we do better on the next video Bye bye